What is up, guys? It's All Around Sports World, and we got breaking news from yesterday or today. Yeah, it was today. This was posted today. So, the the Hornets signed Gordon Hayward, as you know, the Celtics. Star player. Star player. He's been in some commercials for HyperX, as you might see, they're kind of annoying, but Gordon Hayward, yeah, he's pretty, he's a pretty good player, and they picked, the Hornets picked him up, they also, the Hornets also got LaMelo Ball, so they could be like a, a, the next duo or something, so as you all heard, Gordon Hayward has got a big contract for the Celtics, you know, after his Jazz outstanding years. This is back then. But you remember that injury? That took a total that took a total on his career, but he's going back. So, but sh the thing is Charlotte Hornets signed Gordon Hayward to a 4-year, 120 $120 million dollar contract. I I think this is a bad deal for the Hornets only because, you know, he had a big deal before with the the Boston Celtics and all of that stuff. Without Kemba, they tri Can I say something? Without Kemba Walker, the last star on their team, it's kind of hard to think that Gordon, Gordon Hayward would be good fit. I mean, as you've seen, I think this is a fit because LeBron James, Anthony Davis, a lot of star players are just going to be in next year's free agency. So I don't think Gordon Hayward is going to have a lot of room if he stays his last year's for Boston. So that's also a point to look at. And so I think this is... I think this is a bad deal. I don't know. Just good deal for Gordon Hayward. He's getting a lot of money. As you can see, Boston, he got a lot of money. Charlotte, he's getting... I, he's not making as much as he did, but he's still getting a lot of money. For his talents, he bounced back, but not as much as to be a $120 million contract for four years. So, this is our first NBA video, as you can tell. And I think, I think Gor Gordon Hayward, he was, he was actually pretty good. And he, I think, um, his injuries kind of made him, like, not as good as a player as he used to be. But I think, uh, this is, yeah, this is a good deal for him. Um, him and LaMelo Ball, um, could be the next dynamic duo. I don't know. So. So, when he got signed, he was probably the best, like, available. No. I mean, best available for the Charlotte Hornets to get because they're not getting LeBron James or a lot of people. So, like, there was Anthony Davis, Fred Van Vliet, Christian Wood. So, a lot of people. So isn't he so christian wood at he's probably one of the best players on the hornets i mean terry rogier terry rogier was their starting point guard i don't think it's chemistry because terry rogier left the celtics but he got paid and so the hornets are not that contender i mean 
we still got to see with Lamella Ball. I mean, if Lamella Ball is good, this team could be turning around. But I don't think, I think it's more years rebuilding for the Hornets. So, it's going to be our next topic, Steven Adams. So, he just got traded to the Pelicans, and it kind of sucks for me, because I love Steven Adams, I'm an OKC fan, and I love Steven Adams, so, this is, I mean, the Oklahoma City Thunder, they got a couple good players, I guess from a trade, they got George Hill, the alias Mannard, a 2023 Denver protected first round pick and a second round pick, 2023 via Charlotte and 2024 via Washington. Sources, sources says, and at ESPN includes Hills, Eric Bledsoe. Okay, I want to talk about Eric Bledsoe. So. He's kind of the breakout point guard the Milwaukee needed, but I don't think, like, they have SGA, Shy Gildress. They've, well, they just traded Chris Paul, so I guess that can fill the void, but I don't know. They, I guess they're going to move him to, they were running a two point guard, making. SGA, Shai Gildress, I'm just going to call him that, as a small forward. No, shooting guard. Yeah, shooting guard. So, I don't know. In the final in the final year of Stephen Adams' um, Thunder career, he, he, the contract set to pay him $27.58 million dollars in 2020 um he so i don't know if this will mesh well because stephen adams and zion williamson they're they're kind of both big men and i don't know if like they will be both on the court at the same time or they will like kind of like get different playing time when they're off and on the court so, also the thing to say, the Pelicans, they still have Brandon Ingram, all-star. So, I think this is great for the Pelicans, because they can get, uh, Steven Adams, some point, average 12 rebounds and 10 points. So, I think this is a great deal for the Pelicans. But, Eric Bledsoe getting rid of it, I don't know. But... I don't, I, I'm trying to think of a thing, how this would be good for the Thunder. They get Eric Bledsoe, fill the void for Chris Paul, but, I mean, you always can do SGA, move him in there, so, so, next stop, you will be looking at John Wall, who got paid so much money to be injured. Alright. So, there's rumors that John Wall wanted a trade from Washington. He never requested a trade. So, and also the GM says that there's Tommy Shepard. There is no plans to trade John Wall. And the former All-Star point guard has no requests for this deal. So, I think, I think this is a bad idea. You might think, why is this a bad idea? Well, this is a bad idea because John Law, he hasn't really been himself. I mean, at the thing, he was injured. He got paid a lot of money. I mean, oh, it's Wizards. It's time to move on from John Wall. The all-star, former all-star, I don't think he'll be the same. So, we should. they should move on from John Wall. 
All right, we're gonna go over some of the draft picks up here. So I'm just gonna go over like some of the first rounds. So, so the Minnesota got first from the draft lottery, and so the pick to Edwards, the they got a shooting guard from Georgia. And I think he would fit well from Andrew Wiggins missing. And for the pick to Jonathan Wiseman, I think James Wiseman, sorry. He's a center. I think he would do pretty good he, from Memphis. Yeah, I th oh, yeah. So, Golden State, they haven't really, like, like their MVP, well, MVP Steph Curry year winning championship they haven't really had really good center because they've been the small ball you know dream on green they had javel mcgee at one point so they haven't really had like a good center so i think steve kerr's trying something new because as you saw the record last year golden state did horrible because Steph Curry got injured. Andrew Wiggins is doing okay for a bad team. Um, There's a lot of low-rated guys stepping up for the Warriors. But Clay Thompson, we might talk about that. He's been seeing an injury, injury with his Achilles. I don't know. It's just, it's just rebuilding. Time for Golden State. Yeah, they do need a really good rebuild, period. Alright, third pick, LaMelo Ball. We've gone over this a little, as Gordon Hayward first talked about. Gordon Hayward and LaMelo Ball. I don't know, he's been playing overseas. I don't know, he's do the NBA level, so I don't know. I don't know if LaMelo Ball, over, when he played overseas, is it going to be the same competition as the NBA? And LaMelo Ball, he scored like 100, around 100 points in high school. And I don't, I don't know if he would be like, as like a superstar as like a pick, a number three pick like would be. And... Now with Patrick Williams, I don't really know too much about this player. He's a shooting, he's a small forward from Florida State. I don't, I don't really, really um watch the Bulls play that much. I don't know if they need a small forward or not. I mean, Bulls need a good push since Michael Jordan. They haven't been a good team, so. Let's let's see about Bergson signs five year eighty million with the Washington Wizards. So Washington Wizards, come on. So Berta's Davis Bertons, they've been doing good as Washington. They I mean I don't, I don't think, I'm debating over which is a good deal or not, because he was a free agent forward, yeah, that, he was good on the, he was good on the, he was okay, I guess, on the Toronto Rap, no, not the Raptors, whatever, so, <laughs> the Wizard, they would be pairing up with Robin Lopez, also, he also reached out to agreement with wa Wizards, the Washington Wizards. So, six foot ten Bertaz, he is a great shooter. In my understanding, he's been he's been great. But for the Spurs, that's it. But I don't know if eighty million dollars, as you see, as you saw, they just paid. John Wall a lot of money to stay, so, well, trying to pay a lot of money to John Wall, 
he hasn't agreed on it yet, but I don't, I don't know. Like, this is, is this a good idea? Like, I know Bertos was, he was on the Spurs. He ha he's been doing good, but he wasn't on a good team. As good as a team. As the Washington, well, what Wizards are a bad team, but they have Bradley Beal. But I don't think that's an overpaid. I mean, free agents, they they're gonna overpay. And he's he's been exceptional, but he's going back to the Wizards. I don't think it'd be a good idea for the Wizards. As you can see in his Instagram post, there he is right there at the stadium. And he says, five more years, DC family. So I think he's pretty happy with the deal. And he can't wait to be back out there wearing that Washington Wizards jersey. So he seems pretty happy. So this is a good deal for him. But five years, I mean, it's exceptional. So that's, we're going to wrap it up here, and we'll see Wait. if... All right. um, so, this was the video, don't forget to subscribe, and like for more, and so, we, we're going to end it here. Alright, see you guys later.